questions for me or do you just want me to start talking about it? I think, um, yeah, so one of the things that intrigued me is the fact that you've got my book right behind you <laughs> and you have yours right next to it. <laughs> yeah, I, I love both of them. So when did you get the book? When did it arrive? Uh, well, uh, your book arrived, oh, probably three or four days ago, and um, I just tore right into it. I haven't read books for so long because I have uh, my eyesight isn't as good as it used to be, and it's a, a struggle for me to read. I would much m more be into like um, a rec audio recording. Oh but yes, audio books. But I love the book, and now it's got me back into books because I enjoyed it so much. It's really hard to put it down. And uh, let me bring it close closer. <laughs> and uh, this uh, Ubuntu? <clears throat> yes. Am I pronouncing it right? That's correct, Ubuntu. Well, uh, I've gotten so many comments just from the book cover because uh, people love your face. And it's... Uh, <laughs> It just has so much power in it. I mean, you don't even have to open the book, and people are enjoying just the power of your expression on your face and just your your light. So, I mean, that's just one thing. But <clears throat> so many people are getting inspiration from this book who have not received it just from what I'm talking about, the book, to them. And uh, yesterday... The man who is my daughter's boyfriend, and he's helping me with uh, editing. His name is Zen. I mentioned him before. Uh, he's a fantastic photographer. Nice. And you, you mentioned that, well, he should have a book for the coffee table. Yes. And, uh, so I talked to him about your... Okay, so fire away. Okay, well... Uh, he was so moved by your project in Zimbabwe that he wants to create the uh, photo essay, coffee table book, and give 100% of it, of the proceeds from it, to your project. Oh, my gosh. I think that's amazing. I mean, oh. he sees my life, and he has been um, impressed by the what the point that I'm I'm a giver and then hearing about what you do the uh, combination of the two has uh, moved him to that point and this man does not have any money <laughs> and he um, well he said if if he made money off the pictures he took of African people he has he's been he's been to Zimbabwe he's been to a lot of uh, countries in Africa and he said if he made money, and he never gave those people any money for uh, taking their photos, he doesn't feel it would be right. So he wants to just donate the whole thing to your project, and he's very interested in helping these uh, children who lost their parents through AIDS. So, wow. I mean, you do so much, and you don't understand uh, the the uh, magnitude of how you're impressing people. And I hope you get that because this is wonderful. <laughs> so oh, anyway, I am this, humbled. This, this is your book that I'm in love with. <laughs> what you're doing is you are including uh, the rest of us in the world who can't live in Zimbabwe, who weren't brought up the way you were, and uh, giving us such... Uh, vivid uh, scenery about how you grew up. I mean, uh, I believe it was you and your sister that were uh, protecting the corn. Am I right? That's right. <laughs> and you're up on a platform with rocks that you've gathered, and then the baboons come in when it's cool enough to uh, eat something, and then you have to have the rocks ready and throw them at the baboons to get them out of the corn, Otherwise, your harvest is just going to be eaten up by baboons. And then <laughs> for your lunch, you have to go out and kill rodents and uh, cook them up for your lunch. <laughs> Isn't that it right? Was, that is right. And, you know, the funny thing is, it's when I reflect back now as an adult, 
where I realized that we never went hungry. I don't remember ever being hungry. The universe gave us everything we needed. There was, you ate whatever was there. <laughs> you know, field mice was lunch. Grasshoppers was lunch. Um, we were never hungry. Yes. Well, that was amazing to me. And being included in your life and in your brothers, uh, birth of your brothers and uh, your parents' history and then meeting your husband and uh, your time in uh, England uh, as a small child and then going back as, a, as an adult, as a student, and then uh, losing your uh, all your money and then um, being in a terrible situation, <laughs> I just got to that point uh, where you were renting a room from a blind man. <laughs> <laughs> So-called blind oh, man. My, my goodness, the things that have come to you and how God has always been there to rescue you and uh, pull you to a higher awareness is just, you know, it's uh, astounding. So I... I just loved your book. Thank you so much. I love what you've done with your cover behind you there. So you printed it out. Yes. I and did. you wrapped it around an old book. Well, I wrapped it around. Um, this book is uh, by Donald Trump. And um, actually, I've. it's just called Trump. And uh, uh, I think he would uh, be happy that I <laughs> think so. The good news. <laughs> so, it looks stunning. I can see someone in an airport grabbing that book and saying, "What the hell is this book about?" Yes. Well, I hope they grab it and read it because it has so many messages. Not about the concert and not about my awakening, but that will help in someone else's awakening. So that would be great uh, for me <clears throat> uh, to, I also, from my book, want to uh, give a portion of it to my causes, which are uh, helping the flood victims in Thailand and then the uh, people 